Hey guys, it's Joe here with a new book video for you guys. For this video, I'm doing a Melanie Martinez book tag. And no, I did not come up with it myself. I'm actually, somebody else came up with it, but the video I watched is by, is done by Book Sniffing Fangirl. I'm pretty sure, I'm like 98% sure that's what it is. And I'm going to put her link below. I'm also going to put the link below for the original video. I cannot think of his name right now. I actually didn't watch it. But I was going to watch it, but then I didn't, but so that's how that went. So this is not my own video, and so I'm just going to pretty much... Okay, so what I'm doing for this video is she has... Melanie Martinez has an album that came out in 2015 called Cry Baby, and I have the vinyl and the CD version. <sighs> this was an accident. This was on purpose, but I'm not going to explain that. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm going all of her songs... And there's going to be, like, a topic for each song that I'm going to put on there. And then I'm going to ha match a book or character to that topic. And that's pretty much how my book takes have been going and how they're going to go for, like, music. I don't know if I've done anybody else music. Uh, but, yeah, we're just going to go with it. So, here we go. For the first one I'm doing, I am doing Cry Baby. And it is a character that is really emotional. And for this, like, topic, I have chosen... Dorothy from Dorothy Must Die. Now, if you've read this book, you will understand that she is pretty much a big baby and a like, grown woman's body. All she does is she's she's a bratty she's a bratty child. She has mood swings all the time. She'll be super happy one minute and the next minute she'll be crying or yelling, and that pretty much like defines crybaby because she like. She is very emotional, and that's why it was named Crybaby. And interesting fact about Melanie Martinez, uh, Crybaby was actually her nickname that she had growing up because she was very emotional, hence the emotional character. And I'm not saying that Melanie Martinez is crazy like Dorothy, but that's who I'm just going to name as my really, really emotional character from Dorothy Must Die. The next one I have for you guys is Dollhouse, a book with a dysfunctional family, yes. So I've chosen Red Riding Hood. And if you have read this book or watched the movie, you will understand that it is a very crazy family. And this is going to be a spoiler for anyone who wants to read this book or hasn't seen the movie. But the dad is actually the wolf. The grandmother is a witch. And Valerie, the main character, is like half wolf. Like she can still speak to wolves as in her father because she has wolf blood going through her. But... Her mother had no idea of any of this, and so, like, her mother actually, her sister isn't actually her full sister, it is a half-sister from the guy she's going to marry, father, and so it is very confusing. If you, It's not that confusing, I'm just saying it in a confusing way, and I'm sorry about that, but Valerie has a very dysfunctional family, it's actually, a, it's, like, basic, but it's not basic, like, I really don't know how to describe it. It's complicated, so that's what I'm going to say. So, for a dysfunctional family, I want to do Red Riding Hood. The next one I have is Sippy Cup, a book that was darker than it was expected. So, for this one, I've chosen First Life by Gina Showalter because I went into this book thinking, oh, it's just going to be like a battle between like light and dark, which is pretty much what it is, <laughs> light and dark, as you can see closer. But it's actually a lot more than that. Like, there's depression in this book from like other characters not Tenley which is the main characters or Ten if you want to call her that but it's just it's kind of sad what she has to go through and what society is like in here actually you're only allowed to have one child and so she actually got sent off because her parents had another child and this is also a spoiler I'm just this is I'm gonna do a lot of spoilers okay her parents had another like child it was a son and so they sent her away to this camp making people think that she was crazy and so she was there for years to make people forget about her and she figured this out after she escaped because she has to choose between Troika and Myrid like for her afterlife which is the second book you know first life and then afterlife and I really want to get that book either way but it's kind of it's kind of scary like it's kind of messed up and it's you know Kind of darker than you'd really think, so I've chosen First Life. The next one I have is Carousel, a book or a character that has its first love. For this one, I've chosen To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Now, I've made a book review about this, so if you don't know anything about it, go watch that video. But pretty much what this is, is this 
the main character, Laura Jean, like, has has written letters to boys that she so-called loved before, like, all of this. She wrote, she wrote letters to them, and somebody sent them out, because she had them in a, bo- a private box that she kept all the letters, and so what happened is they were sent out, and a couple of them had actually contacted her about the letters and everything that happened, but she actually finds her very first love in the book, and it's towards, like, the end of the book, so I'm not really going to tell you who, unless you watch that video, but she just, she talks to a lot of guys, not, like, in a slutty, hoey way, but, like, she makes a new, she makes a new, like, best friend, who's actually, like, one of the letters she wrote to, and it turns out he's gay, which is not really a spoiler, because it's going to tell you, like, almost right away in the book, but he's gay, and so they actually become, like, really best friends besides Chris, and Chris is a girl, no matter the name of the, no matter her name, it is a girl, and so she actually falls in love with a guy, or, or a couple, and so that's why I've chosen this one for Carousel, for the first love. The next one on my list is Alphabet Boy, a book or a character, more, more like a character, a character that is not book smart, but is actually very successful, so for this one I've chosen Cinder, and yes, you think that she's very smart because she's a mechanic and she can build all of this, like, st- all this stuff. She's, like, a pretty much engineer. But throughout the book and throughout the second book, I haven't read the third book. That's on my to-do list. But throughout, like, the first and second book, you you notice that she does not make very smart decisions. That she has other people tell her what to do and I'm not going to tell you who. Because I still have to make a book review for this and I read it literally almost a year ago. So I really need to get on to that. Because before I lose all my feelings, I'm pretty sure I have pretty much showed you guys my feelings. I really don't like this book. I really don't. I'm sorry, but that's what it was. But she's she doesn't really think things through. She kind of just goes for it. And yeah, a couple of things she had thought through. Just like a couple. Like one out of every 50 that she thought through. And it's a very stressful read because she's crazy. And yeah, so I'm just going to say Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This one is Soap, a book or character that changed over time, that changed your, like, opinion over time. For this one, I have chosen The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I just wanted to make sure that was right. That's what I was thinking. But, okay, so when I went to this book, I was, like, super hyped up about it. But, like, I got into the first couple chapters. I was like, what is this? This is kind of boring. And I'm going to give an overall thing right now. I thought this book was kind of boring. Like, yes, it had some interesting parts, but I think it took me a couple, I think it took me like two or three weeks to actually finish this because I didn't have the motivation to pick it up. And so my opinion changed throughout the book, like multiple times. Like, I'd be like, oh, this part is very interesting. I'm going to keep reading. And then the next part will be not interesting. So I'd stop reading or I'd be slowly reading it. And then the next part, it picked back up again, and I just go back and forth. And I think that's really why it took me so long to read this, is because it had interesting parts in it, but then I didn't have interesting parts in it. And so that's why I changed my opinion a lot. So like I said, the fifth wave. The next one I have here is Training Wheel, your favorite book couple. And for this one, I have chosen Cat and Frosty from Alice in Zombieland. And they're not like the main, obviously they're not the main, like, romance in the book. It's obviously Cat, or not Cat and Cole. It's obviously Allie and Cole because, like, one, from the description, and two, like, if you just read the book, it's literally all about Allie and Cole and the zombies that are happening, but pretty much about, but they do have a lot of Frosty and Cat because Frosty is Cole's best friend and Cat is obviously Allie's best friend, and so they're actually always together, but what Allie didn't know is that Frosty was Cat's ex-boyfriend, the, Okay, Cat and Frosty are, like, an on-and-off couple, but at the same time, they're very adorable and, like, what they say and their attitude towards each other and about the, how they're always going to protect each other no matter what. And I think it's just adorable, and they have to be my favorite couple. Like, I think they... I'm not... I'm not going to say Allie and Cole are my favorite couple, but I'm also not going to say Cat and Frosty are my favorite couple. I feel like they're very much equal. So this book is a very re- good repu- reputation... Or, representation, yeah, there we go, of what characters and relationships I really like, because they have my two top relationships, so that's what I'm going to say is Alice and Zombieland, also by Gina Showalter, for my favorite love interest characters, yeah. The next one I have is Pity Party, a book that you were kind of, like, disappointed by, and for this one, I've chosen Dreamology by Lucy Keating. Now, if you knew, if you know me, and, like, knew me around the time of last summer, like, softball season, 
you would know that I was very hyped up for this book. I could not wait for it to come because I ordered it. And I, I was very excited about it. But I'm going to say, I'm sad to say that I was actually very disappointed by this book. The description on Goodreads and everything else, like, even the description in the actual book, it seems so interesting, and the book kind of just went nowhere. Like, yes, it had a topic and characters, but it didn't really go places where I wanted it to go, or that I was really hoping it would go. So, I'm just, I'm not going to say any more about this book, because I don't really want to, so I'm just going to say Dreamology was my very disappointing pity party. I just made a pun, and it was glorious. The next one I have is Milk and Cookies, and it is a book that, a book or a character, pretty much a character that wants revenge, and I, I already have this up, so, you know, I'm gonna, it's obviously gonna be Dinah, because this is the second book to the series of Queen of Hearts, and so what this is, is Dinah, I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to spoil anything, but I'm gonna say a warning right now, this is probably gonna be a huge spoiler, but Dinah pretty much got kicked out of the castle, she, her brother is dead because her father killed him, and her, like, her love interest, I'm gonna say this, her love interest does not love her back, even though he tried so hard, which I really ha hate him for, so, girl, I'm all about that revenge in this book, but pretty much what it is, is she, is, she wants back the kingdom, she wants to find true love, and she's gonna have revenge for her brother's death that did not need to happen, she loved her brother, it, he was the last thing that was, that reminded her of her mother, that died in, before, Four. like it was okay so the first book took place after the mother died but like she still brought it up and she brings it up a lot in here but pretty much is that this book is a lot of the book is about revenge and the third one it, the third book that I'm waiting for is all revenge I'm guarantee you it's all revenge so that's pretty much what I'm gonna say is for my revenge book is blood of wonderland for my milk and cookies the next one I'm going to get very salty about, and this one is Pacifier, a book or a character that gets on your nerves. And if you really have been here for a while, or just know me, I don't even have to say anything. This is literally all I'm going to say for this book. I'm holding this up. I'm not telling you anything, because it's mentioned in a lot of my book in my videos so if you really want to know you can go back and watch those because i don't feel like getting really salty and mad right now so here there is your freaking pacify her song the next one is mrs potato hood a book where a character goes to society's needs this one i have chosen scott westerfield's the first two books for uglies the uglies uh series. I want to say series because it's four books. So the first one is Uglies and then Pretties. And so pretty much what it is is Tally has to go through like what in this universe because this is a dystopian. They once they turn 16 they automatically like get go over to the pretty world. But in this book she's having complications because of a new friend she made after her best friend moved over to being pretty for a couple months because he's older than her. And so what I'm going to say is Pretties and Uglies, and they're like based on, so, 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 oh my god, societies, I cannot believe I just did that. They're based on societies, like wants, like pretties, they're made into pretty people. Or they were already like pretty, ooh, I didn't notice this is flashy. But they were already like pretty to begin with, but they didn't realize that they actually wanted their all to be super perfect and their noses one certain way. They just, they all started to look alike because that's what they thought society needed. So that's what I'm going to say from Mrs. Potato Head. The last one I have is Mad Hatter. A character that is very eccentric or odd or crazy. And for this one, I've chosen Peter from the Wendy Darling series, Volume 1, Stars. And I've done a book review on the first and second book. I don't know if I posted the second one. I might have. I'm not 100% sure. No, I'm so I'm still working on that one. But pretty much what this one is, is Peter is crazy and dark and just, I can't even explain a lot of it. I did a book review on it, so if you really want to know my feelings about Peter and everything about it, just go watch my video about it. So, yeah. And that's pretty much what I'm going to leave off for the Mad Hatter because he's just crazy and everything else. So guys, Peter is a new Mad Hatter. Now, you must be thinking, if you have, like, if you have, like, the thingamahopper, the disc, not the disc, like, 
Oh yeah, pretty much the disc. If you have anything in Melly Martinez, like any of the albums, in any ways, you will see that I have missed Tag Your It for a very special reason. Because Tag Your It, I'm not doing a book or character for this one. I am tagging everybody in the audience. Or on the other side of the computer screen, or just screen. I really know how to put that. But I'm tagging everybody. <laughs> tag, Tag Your It. I'm taking everyone to do this book thing my hopper it's not I want to say thing my hopper a lot because I, I I'm really bad at words as you guys can see but I take you guys all to do this or at least comment down below what you thought of the video and anything that like you want to comment down below really what books you want me to read or like what videos you want me to do just comment like I said comment down anything you want comment like and subscribe to me to see more book videos like this or just anything bookish related so i will see you guys all later goodbye